Before the video begins, my server is wiping July 29th, season 6. It's 4 man now and it's a 25x. I'm spending a lot of money on promoting it, so link is in the description to join. Tip number one, don't play ARK uninstall it have a recording software ready in case you need evidence for a ticket or maybe you lose something and you don't remember where clipping helps when using k mode you can backspace twice to see your hud give your character long arms and long hands to protect your legs more and if you want to strike fear upon your enemy on site you want to put your head as big as possible as well as your boots increasing your fov could give you more spatial awareness so i'm going to show you exactly how we go to local files we click on browse these folders will pop up we click on shooter game we then go to saved click config windows no editor then go to game user settings when this menu pops up look for the fov multiplier and as you can see mine is increased to 1.34 play with it as you will shout out to today's sponsor pubg mobile one of the most popular and free mobile games in the world with over 50 million daily players you can play Battle Royale solo or with friends along with its 10 other game modes. They even have a licensed collaboration with the hit Amazon show, The Boys, as well as Baby Shark, Evangelion, and Jujutsu Kaisen. The new Livic update, a new map with a faster paced Battle Royale style where you can fight on your own or with friends against 51 players. Livic also features a football field where you can actually play football. Big fan of that. Shout out to PUBG Mobile for not calling it soccer. Score some goals to get coins, which you can use to buy stuff at the supply shop. This is the tackle. Wonderful from Adriano to keep this alive. Messi. Alexis at the back post, but it's Messi. The zipline, another feature which is awesome to speed things up and maybe even save you from certain death at times or lead you to your next kill. Go ahead, click the link in the description. Download PUBG Mobile for free right now and have some Battle Royale fun and score some goals. When doing Lava Golem, avoid breaking the crystals, instead grapple over them and maybe your enemy is dumb enough to break them and alert you. Instead of tech link forward with your map, have a transmitter, I'm kidding, have a structure on your hotbar and press it instead of opening the map, it will do the same thing. If you can't tell what's wrong with this gameplay, then we have serious issues. Make sure to disable your interpolation so that your camera stops shaking all over. You go into your settings, check box that in and now look at the difference. I can run without my screen having an org. If you invite any tribe mates into your tribe and they have that setting on, you might as well kick them already and save yourself some time. When cryopotting a dino out in the open, make sure that you k-mode while doing it as well as move around a bit so you don't get surprise attacked out of nowhere. I'm really big on keybinds and they're really important to me so I'll share a few of you with you guys. First of all, Q, I never unbind that. That toggles your fist and allows me to pull out my shield quicker other than having to click back on the same weapon that I have on my hardware. That's too much trouble click q shield out done the next key button would be to drop an item which is originally o i switched it to the letter v which is a lot closer for my thumb to drop for my inventory i use left alt a lot easier than pressing i and finally instead of k i use b to k mode before wipes you should practice at least a little bit on your arena so that you could get your aim warmed up and your foot pvp skills so i go and play on the astro arena i'll leave the ip down below in the description don't just drink beer to run turrets also drink battle tartar or else you're beta but Amy, in Battle Tartar is hard to make, blah blah blah. You TP to Volcana East on Genesis and you do the Gotta Go Fast mission on the Doed. Don't fly around cluelessly through the maps trying to go do your next task. Instead, have a spyglass on you or a binoculars and constantly be checking every relevant dinos for their stats and levels. Karkis are one of the most important teams early game and here's how to tame one in about 5 seconds. After you net it, put the cannon in front of it, probably closer than this, but whatever. Aim down at its forehead and shoot it. You see? Boom. Knocked out. Mike Tyson. If nobody in your life has ever shown a single bit of love to you, then you can place a battery heavy near a drop, on low, on all players, and yeah. Place a dino leash where you want the turrets to shoot, and then put the range on high, and they basically show the exact same range of a turret, so yeah use that as you will if you're gonna tame females to start getting your lines don't tame three or four and start breeding no, no tame like 10 alphas tame like 20 so yeah let's say you want to transfer back into the same server you already are on i'm just gonna go transfer click join with survivor then tab reconnect and i'm gonna be loading back into the same server maybe i just want to spawn in a bed or something look at that magic Woo! The day on, you need to leave render with meat in it to, you know, get the food bar back up. 
but you could also just reconnect. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I still see a lot of people not do it. When you're playing early game, always have stem berries on your hotbar so that you can keep running and also not get knocked out easily. The exo helmet is like a hazard helmet, but it's infinite it won't break so a basilisk can keep shooting and it just won't break all right so this one's probably the best tip but it's a little hard not gonna lie basically try to learn some admin commands try to be an admin for a server that is decently populated so that then you can scout the maps every single map for hidden base locations that you didn't know about and see how other people play the game basically this is how i farm crystal i don't know if it's the best way but probably a bronto's better but yeah early game kangaroo crystal if you net somebody or bola and they're shielding, you can still hit their boots. And if you get netted, you can actually shield and cut the net at the same time. No need to release the shield. Finally, if you see me out in open world, you might as well run away because you're going to end like this guy. Tech turrets don't shoot rockets, so just shoot them at a distance and yeah, bye bye. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I rated this base the other day. Um, Boxer Jenny, cover your outlets. Don't leave them exposed or they're going to get flame arrowed. If you see yourself dying to flamethrowers too much, first of all, don't go to Golem without Medbrews. Second of all, carry a tech canteen on you. And third and most important, don't go any higher than 320 HP or else the flame will melt you. If you want the hard eye and I like the one that I'm using here where the flamethrower doesn't block my screen, it's down below in the description. On Genesis 1 and Genesis 2, if you just press H, you'll be able to see Helena and it'll show you the stats of the dinos that you look at. If you're trying to cannon raid a base, all you gotta do is spyglass at the place you want to hit and then aim straight forward when you take out the spyglass and place the cannon. I think you're hitting it. No way you Aim a little bit higher if you can. Yeah. Oh, it's all on. All on. No joke. Well, if you have a VPN software, all you want to do to scout a base is get in render of the base where turrets won't shoot you, turn on the VPN. Once it's connected, you run and you'll be able to view the map in real time without being shot at because you're not really there. Then when you're done, turn off the VPN. Be careful with this one because if you leave the VPN for too long, then you can disconnect from the server. Indie forges are quite nice to cover your cables. Every time you turn a Jenny off and back on, it increases the range of the outlet to the turret. A good way to farm electronics and oil is with a chainsaw killing enforcers on any server that's above like 5 to 10x rates. Whenever you run into a sticky situation like this one, don't try to rush things or anything. Just make sure you quickly pause to think what you're going to do and take your time. In this clip, I get messed by a PT back into turrets and instead of straight running away, I aim at the turrets with my shield and slowly back up. While I was trying to find the turrets, my legs broke so if I had turned around, I would have died. The best way to farm keratin is take a mining drill to aberration surface entrance and go ham if you're camping a teepee you could watch tiktoks while waiting to kill some time